Ayan. Okay, hello everyone. This is John Ranya. Magandang magandang araw po sa inyo for another special interview. And today, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna rather share with you ang story ni Marife. Marife uh, is a college dropout. She decided to really not pursue or finish her degree because she would like to become an entrepreneur. And uh, unfortunately, during those times, you know, like most parents, gusto na mga magulang makapagtapos ang pag-aaral. So uh, her mom really felt bad about what happened or about her decision rather. But really, that didn't stop her to pursue her dream to become an entrepreneur. She's a passionate Christian and loves helping fellow believers to break yung poverty mindset that's going on to many minds of the Christians and even churches. So uh, she'll, she will share her story. Okay, today, guys, uh, on uh, just this month, she just launched her program and made over 100,000 pesos in sales all from home. Sa bahay lang po, walang inventory, walang employees, walang offices and all that. And uh, yeah, she will tell us her story, how she did it, and, obvious, and, and of course, how you too can become a lifestyle entrepreneur. Mafe, maraming maraming salamat and, uh, for joining us today. And I would like you to say hi sa mga libo-libong followers ng Negosyo University. <laughs> yes, Coach. Yeah. First of all, Coach, thank you so much for inviting me sa community na ito. I really love this community. You know that? Yeah. And thank you so much sa mga nakikita kong reactions, mga nagko-comments. Thank you so much. Lahat ng mga IBMC graduates, lahat ng mga... Christian infopreneurs that I invited who are here, I don't know kung sino kayo, but yeah, sa lahat ng followers ni Coach John, sa, sa Negosyo University, hello, hello everyone, and I really pray na ma-inspire ko kayo today. Ayan, okay. So, Mafe, of course, as usual, marami nagtatanong, people are interested, would like to know more how this online business work, how this internet business works. Maybe, Guru, we should start muna, Marife, before that is, can you tell us briefly lang about yourself? And of course, uh, why did you decide to start your own business? Okay. So, I am Marife Rosas. First, uh, I wear two hats ngayon. So, first is, I am the community manager of one of the awesome community in the Philippines. Okay. And I'm uh, kung magtatanong kayo kung sino yung person behind this page and also yung emails. I'm one of those people who help Coach John sa dun sa mga bagay na yon. And also aside from the community manager, I also wear the hat of being an infopreneur and uh yon um. Uh, I run that simple business from home. Yun nga. Uh, after my work, I usually work on my business. Mm-hmm. And yeah, to to share about my story, I believe it yung gusto niya sa akin. Ipa share sa akin ni Coach John, kasi I first share this story sa IBMC community. And at first, at all, lang hindi uh, ano talaga hesitant talaga ako ng share sa Coach, kasi nga. Alam alam naman natin diba sa mga Pilipino na pag hindi ka graduate parang mababa yung tingin. Do diba, oh. na, diba, parang na ay yang i-share. But I share this to the community kasi uh IBMC community is very close to my heart and I I marami akong friends sa IBMC community and I believe many people think kasi na parang kailangan ko ng certifications, kailangan ko maging expert, kailangan magaling ako mag-English in uh-huh. order for to be successful in this kind of business. And yun yung parang, for me, kaya shineko talaga sa IBMC. And to my surprise, I was really surprised and shocked kasi uh, ang daming comments, ang daming message, and and sina- nasabi nila na naiyak daw sila sa story, yung iba na inspire, yung iba uh, na motivate, na relate May mga nagsabi sa akin na, Mafe, do you, do you know na hindi rin ako graduate? And I'm shocked kasi alam ko na nasa top position siya before, nung nasa employment pa siya. And uh-huh. yeah, God is really moving sa, sa, sa buhay ng tao yon And yun nga, uh, yun nakakatuwa siya kasi... Maraming nakarelate. And yun din yung gusto kong i-share sa inyo because I was a college dr- dropout. And katulad nga sinabi ni Coach John Oran, Coach John kanina na uh, yung mom ko was not happy with my decision. Of course, sino ba naman parent yung matutuwa sa decision ko? Wala na lang, gagraduate na ako. And 
I just want to make it clear lang na it's not uh, an act of rebellion na. <laughs> ah, kasi ganyan, may rebelde ako. Hindi. Hindi ako nagtapos ng college because I have three reasons. First reason is I don't want to waste my time because I know during those times kasi na I don't want to take that course and yung buhay ko is hindi talaga ako magstay sa path na yun. I don't want this that path. Hindi siya masama. Uh, actually, uh, teacher yon, pagiging teacher. But may gusto lang akong itur- iturong ibang topic. <laughs> okay, hindi sa traditional school but in this school. Okay, second is I don't want to waste money of my mom. Kasi alam ko naman, di ba? Kahit sa PUP ako nag-aaral, sobrang baba na intuition fee namin. But of course, sa baon and everything. So, I don't want to waste the time. And number three is I believe I have strong conviction during those times kasi na God is leading me to another path. And which is the path na sinabi ko nga na rough but exciting world of entrepreneurship. And during those times, Coach John, na I was really uncertain. Hindi ko alam kung anong gagawin ko. Hindi ko alam ano pong magiging result nito decision ko. Kasi imagine mo, di ba, pag magiging teacher ka, okay naman, teacher, di ba? So parang okay siya, parang sa marami. And yung it, it, it kong path is... I don't know. I don't know any businessman sa family namin. Wala ko kilalang mentor. As in, wala talaga. Leap of faith lang talaga. And then, I tried. Yun nga, dahil napunta ako dun sa, sa world na yun, I believe I was 20 years old, Coach John, nung napunta ako sa path na yun. And then, um, I started, marami akong trinay na business actually. MLM, traditional business, direct selling. Lahat, basta legal, okay? <laughs> so, yon I tried MLM, and during those times, actually, hindi naman ako nag-succeed doon, but I I look at it as a blessing, kasi I've learned so much, like perseverance, like, you know, having the right attitude, and nung mga time kasi na yun, nung, nung nasa MLM ako, isa sa pinaka talagang tumatak sa akin, is yung, yung na-discuss nila before na yung cash flow quadrant ni Robert Kiyosaki. The employment, the self-employed, the business, and an investor. So, sabi nila, apat lang daw na, na yung taos, it's either kung na, anong quadrant ka doon. And ang natandaan ko doon, yung nasa left side is employee and self-employed. Sabi nila, okay lang daw, walang masama, maging employee ka and self-employed as long as hindi ka magtatagal or as you you work in this side, in this left side, you must make sure that you're working on business and investment. So, that's what I did. Uh, since luhaan ako sa MLM, <laughs> luhaan ako that time. Ang ginawa ko is, uh, I I work sa corporate world. Nag-work ako doon, but yun nga, sinay ko sa community na uh, walang isang araw na lumipas sa akin sa buhay ko na tinantanan ako nung calling na yon to become an entrepreneur. So, kasi alam ko yung, 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 ano, yung purpose na pwede niyang or mag-impact na bibig, maibibigay niya sa ibang tao. And true enough, yun nga, hindi ako tinantanan noon. Uh, nagbabasa pa rin ako ng libro habang uh, employed ako. Nagbabasa ako ng libro, nakikinig ako ng audiobooks, uma-attend ako ng seminars. And uh, 2014, I believe, uh, napunta ako sa world ng personal finance. So, I started investing. So, nag-start na ako doon. Yay! I- so, napunta na ako sa right side. Medyo nag-start na ako mag-invest noon. So, nag-start na ako mag-invest. And uh, I started to build my solid financial foundation. So, wala na akong utang, ganyan-ganyan. While my other batchmates are enjoying sa Bora, sa mall. Ako naman, nasa bahay lang. Ang boring na life ko, diba? So, nasa bahay lang ako, nanonood ng trainings, nagwabasa ng libro, nagsusulat. So, uh, during those times kasi, parang God is speaking to me. Since ang dami ko ng learnings during those times, Kasi yung edad ko that time is 21, I guess, 20 or 21. So, ang dami ko nang natututunan. Sabi ko, ang daming kabatch ko, mga millennials, na, na ano, na hindi nila alam yung, yung mga nangyayari sa akin. Hindi pa sila nag invest hindi pa sila nag save So, parang God is, you know, share, uh, kumbaga parang sinabi sa akin, Mafe, you know, share this to other people. So, 
Shinare ko siya, I started blogging, nag-start ako mag-blog, bibli.com pa, free, free blog siya, I started blogging there, and uh, nagsulat-sulat ako, and then may mga na-inspire daw, and then uh, habang dumami na yung sulat ko, I compiled it and make it uh, parang a book. So, printin ko siya sa isang printing shop, so <laughs> print ko lang siya, wala akong kilala sa publishing ah. So, as in, printin ko lang siya sa isang printing shop, and then binenta ko siya sa mga kakilala ko. So, yung mga bumili naman, syempre, yung kailala ko, may iya sila sa akin. <laughs> so, bumili sila, and then may mga na-inspire sa book na yun. But here's the problem. Ang nangyari is, syempre, nakasulat na ako ng libro. And then, nag-enroll din ako sa mga course dati about writing up. Uh, like, isa doon is yung author's crash course ni Brother Bo Sanchez. I enrolled there. And then, nakapagsulat nga naman ako ng libro. But, ang challenge is, okay, may libro na ako, paano ko siya market Okay? And then, doon dumating si Coach John Oranya. I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know kung galing siya sa Facebook ads, Coach. Hindi ko ma- 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 matandaan kung Facebook ads siya or uh, it's either ki-, ki Fitz kasi follower na ako ni Fitz eh, kasi nasa personal finance niche nga ako before. So, yun. Um, napunta na nga ako kay Coach John Oranya and then I checked since my access ako, one year pala akong niligawan ni Coach Joe. <laughs> Hindi ako ganda ko nang sa IBMC. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, one year ako bago nag-enroll sa IBMC. And then after that, I enrolled sa IBMC after... Ito, lahat ng sinasabi ko is I'm employed, okay? Lahat ng to, I've, I've uh, nagtitrain ako, lahat, employed ako nito. And then, uh, habang nag-aaral din ako kay... Uh, sa IBMC, employed pa rin ako niyan. And then, um, after three months, I got my first sale. And then, aha, yes. Meron pala talagang totoo. <laughs> Kumikita online. I think that's very important. Ma- 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 uh, medyo malakas. Medyo malakas. Medyo malakas. Medyo malakas. Medyo malakas. Medyo Ah, sa akin. Actually, wala akong headset ko. Oh, okay. So, I think that's the, the, the one thing that has to maintindihan ng marami na uh, in this business, it will start with the first sale, okay? Because that will turn you from doubting to make, finally make, believing, you know, that this will work, right? That this will actually work. Of course, like any other business, you have to build foundation, diba? Ganun naman eh. There's really no shortcut because in this, what we do, this is not a get-rich-quick scheme. Go out there, recruit people, recruit your friends, right? We are here really to build a serious um, uh, online business, and that's what we do. We teach here at IBMC. Yeah. Now, Marife, I think one of the questions that we want to know is: um, uh, you are a Christian, and that you somehow you align your mm-hmm. passion into your current business, right? Can you share that uh, to us, please? Yeah, because coach, I believe that being a Christian, you have to be the light and salt of this earth. And it's it will be parang hindi aligned if you will say that you are a Christian and you are broke. And parang ang sakit sa puso makita yung maraming Christians that, you know, they are believers. They, mu- they must glorify God and they're broke. How come the people na sinasabi mo na, you know, you have to believe in, in the God. God is alive. You know? And then, <laughs> you are broke. So, it's very hard. So, kaya, nung mga seminars, kasi bef- uh, after IBMC, hindi ko pa rin tinatanan si Coach John eh. Kasi umaatag pa rin ako sa mga live event niya. Ganun ako. Seminars, sa- yeah. Yeah, sa mga seminar niya. And one of his seminar, yung talaga tumatak sa akin, sabi ni Coach John kasi doon, na parang, you cannot serve everyone. And if you're trying to serve everyone, you're serving no one. Mm-hmm. And yun nga, yung tumatak sa akin. So, kaya nung, nung nakita ko yung situation na yun sa parang sa Christian world, sabi ko, umay, ang daming kailangan ng, ano, ng guidance. Because, how imagine na, as a Christian, if you are an active member sa church, you know the need of the church. Tama. Right? You know that uh, kailangan ng pang rent. If madami kayong inirerentahan ng mga churches to, to, to reach more people, they need rent. They need electricity bill. They need help sa 
flyers, evangelization, or if more on online, they need help sa ads. Imagine, if wala kang pera, paano yun? Paano yun? If, 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 ano, may, may sira sa, sa, sa instruments ng ministry nyo, or if, if kailangan ng, ng transportation going to, to something to do a, a movement of faith. So, if walang pera, so, paano? Diba? So, it's very hard. So, kaya nakita ko na parang, uh, it's very essential kasi for us Christians to be open in this reality because though we are spiritual and we know na hindi naman talaga natin madadala yung pera, di ba? Pag namatay tayo. But, you know, if we are rich kasi, if we are wealthy or if we are making, a, making an impact na lang sa mundong to, di ba? So, serve natin yung purpose natin. Imagine if you are no one, so sino nga inspire mo? Sino yung masasabihan mo about Christ? very hard. That's right. It's a, it's a practical way to see things, not just right, spiritual, you know. And uh, that's what, uh, that's why I believe this also led you to create your program that just recently just launched. It's in, we have like over 100,000 in sales. Uh, yeah. if that will include probably your ebook that you have sold before that, probably over 150,000 pesos now. So just imagine you have this business <clears throat> that you can help people yeah. right you can help people and then at the same time you are compensated very well because you only do this part time you still have a full time job you still part of the community and uh, and and yet you can do all these things and this is what really lifestyle entrepreneur is all about right this is not just about money but also doing what you love to do you enjoy you get excited every morning yeah. waking up so Bafe, quickly lang, can you tell us about your wealth creation uh, program and how does it actually help someone, you know, to build this kind of wealth? And, uh, you know, hindi naman nas sabi natin nagiging greedy ka, but really be yeah. wise with money, income, and money management. <laughs> yeah, tama. So, kasi marami, di ba, tao, coach, na iniisip nila, pag rich people ka, greedy ka, kasi nga, di ba, parang we are mindset on that. Parang na- nakamulatan natin yun eh. Kasi sa teleserye pa lang, di ba? Sino ba yung bida? Di ba? Yung mahirap. Yung mayaman, kontrabida. And sino ba naman yung mag- gustong maging kontrabida? Di ba? Wala sa atin. Uh-huh. Pero sa realidad, sa totoo lang, when I I become open with the reality, na-realize ko that there are plenty, actually many, most of them, rich people na nakilala ko. We're so humble, we're so generous in what they do. And and yet, they're touching other people people's life. And then, meron namang mga not so wealthy, di ba? Hindi masyadong ganong ka-wealthy. And then, greedy. <laughs> so, mabalik na lang. So, hindi mo kasi siya maano eh. Hindi mo kasi siya masasabi. Kasi money is just a tool, di ba? Right. And kung halimbawa, ikaw, maganda yung heart mo, of course, that money will be used in the right way. But if your heart is not good, so, hindi siya ma- magagamit in a right way. So, that's why I created Wealth Creation Masterclass na sinabi nga ni Coach John. I, I yes. search... Yung, yung, yung website nandiyan na sa, sa screen natin. So, anyone yeah. would like to check this out, get a yeah. free report on how to break this this uh, poverty means, uh, mentality and finally break through with your income, with your finances, career, and business. You should check that check that out. <laughs> yeah. Is my I know my free ebook actually I free included worksheet yes free report yeah. I included worksheet then para ma ma makapag isip isip sila because many people since we are busy di ba hindi natin na kapag right. so yeah I included that para mag makapag take action kayo agad then makita niyo yung result na gusto niyo makita yeah That's, so then yeah. sa free <laughs> lang <laughs> free lang po yan yeah emafe uh, just two more questions. What is your biggest lesson you learned so far as you build your business? Number one. And then number two, the second one is what would be your best advice? Like, like there's like one best advice that you can give some mga aspiring lifestyle entrepreneurs. Hmm. What would that be? So you first question, Muna. What's okay. your biggest lesson so far in b- building a business? And then let's talk about your best advice that you can give. Okay. First, uh, biggest lesson ko is 
na natutunan ko kay Coach John when I enrolled sa IMC is progression is always better than perfection. Because many people wanted to be perfect. Ah, hindi pa perfect yung Ibo ko. Hindi ko to launch. Ah, hindi pa to ano, ganyan. So, ah, hindi pa okay yung website ko. Hindi pa ma... Hindi ko pa ganun kagusto yung colors. Ganyan. So, sobrang perfectionist and because of that, hindi nila nalo-launch. Sa akin naman, nung in ko yung sinasabi nga ni Gojo na, okay, progression is always better than perfection. So, every time na tsaka ko pa lang siya nire-revise. And then, every time na may sinasabi sila, uy, mafe, may typo error ka. Okay lang yan. Ah, oo, okay lang. Version 1 talaga yan. <laughs> so, okay, okay, edit ko. And then, yun yung, ayan, yun pa yung point. Yun yung kagandahan sa information business. You can edit it as much as you can. Kasi ebook nga lang siya, electronic siya. That's you can right. upload it. I-upload mo lang. And then, bigay mo ulit sa subscriber mo. Walang bayad. Diba? Imagine mo pag physical yan. Nag-print ka ng 1,000 copies. Diba? So, so, ang- Game over ka na. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sige. And then another question, of course, is what will be your 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 best advice or biggest advice dun sa mga aspiring, yung mga wala pang ganitong business or probably they kind of heard about ebook and making yeah. money online but really they don't know exactly how this thing works and how do you think they should get started? Okay. Ang biggest advice ko siguro, I have three. So three P's. P's, letter P. So number one is you have to find your passion. Kasi I met many people na uh, nasa information business sa sila, but because they are not passionate on their topic, they don't love what they do, they easily give up. Okay? So, uh, kailangan kasi mahal mo yung ginagawa mo. Uh, when I say passion, it, it's must, it must be something na kahit na hindi ka bayaran, you, you're happy doing that. Alam mo yun? Of course, we're a business. Kailangan may bayad. <laughs> but, you have to, ano, kailangan yung yung passionate ka talaga sa ginagawa mo. And uh, hindi mo kailangan maging expert ah. Kailangan lang passionate ka. Kailangan passionate kang aralin yung isang bagay, okay? Pangalawa, it must be you must know your purpose. Ano ba bakit mo ba 'to ginagawa in the very first place? Bakit mo ba gustong mag-business? Bakit mo bang gustong magra ng information business? Gusto mo lang ba kumita ng pera? If that's your purpose, if that's your why? Pwede naman, but for me, it's mababaw. But if yung purpose mo is medyo malalim, like for example, you don't want to see your kids na, ano mo yun, hindi mo sila nakikita habang lumalaki sila or uh, nasasaktan ka every time na may kailangan yung ministry mo pero hindi ka makapag-provide kasi walang wala ka. Alam mo yun, yung deepest purpose, ano ba yung purpose mo sa buhay mo? Is it just to live? Diba? So, kailangan... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, live and die lang ba? Or you want to make an impact to other people? And and you have to think of that. Ano ba yung purpose ko sa buhay ko? And, and lastly, is letter, na letter P is profit. Kailangan, you make sure that it's profitable. Kailangan hindi lang naman siya yung, ah, love na love ko tong gawin. Ito na yung bibenta ko. Ito na yung business ko. Hindi naman ganun. Yun yung sinasabi din ni Coach John. Eh. Na kailangan naman, kasi sa totoo lang, yung ibang tao, yung mga people na gusto mong iserve, they don't care so much kung ano yung alam mo or kung ano yung gusto mo. What they care is if kung gano mo sila kinikare. Kung baga, tinitingnan nila kung paano mo ba sila matutulungan. And you can help them if you know their problem very well. If you uh, do your research or, or, or sa kanila, kailangan alamin mo yung problema nila and solve them. Solve that problem for them. So, leading ko, it must be aligned. Kailangan, passionate ka, kailangan, may purpose ka, kung bakit mo siya gagawin, and kailangan, profitable siya, in order for you to, to really succeed in this kind of business. So, kailangan. Yeah. I guess the biggest lesson here, guys, is what we do in this business is about helping someone solve whatever their problems are, whether money, finances, relationship, wealth, whatever that is, if you have something that legitimate solve someone else's problem, guess what? That is a big business opportunities for you, okay? Guys, maraming maraming salamat for watching yung interview ni Mafe. Mafe, thank you so much. Any last words sa mga thousands of listeners ng uh, Negosyo University? And so, Coach, thank you so much then sa time na binigay mo. 
And uh, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga nakinig. And if you are a Christian who wanted to earn additional income without sacrificing your church ministry, compromising your faith, giving up your God-given calling, go to my website, christianrefupinoresacademy.com and I will give you free ebook for that if you subscribe. Okay? Okay, so, there you go. Muli pa maraming maraming salamat guys. Have a great day. Mafe, once again, thank you and I hope to see you guys again on my next interview. God bless. Bye-bye. God bless. Bye-bye.